What is going on? I'm in Mobile, Alabama, and I decided to stop by the USS Alabama kind of memorial museum thing. That looks super cool. Obviously, it's a huge battleship. They also have a ton of other stuff on the property, so I am really stoked about this. Let's go. The USS Alabama was ordered at the outbreak of World War II and was completed in 1942. It mainly served in the Pacific Theater until it was retired in 1947 and has been a museum piece since 1964. The Memorial Park grounds are massive and it's totally worth the $18 entry fee. The USS Drum is a decommissioned World War II era submarine and the oldest American submarine on public display. The Drum also served in the Pacific Theater engaging in 14 patrols and sinking numerous ships. And I think battleships are so cool is because they're just like, how many guns can we stick on one boat? It's basically like a floating castle. USS Alabama may be a fortress on top, but down below, it's a whole city. The amount of rooms and walkways inside is mind-blowing. You'll pass through numerous sleeping quarters with hundreds of beds, several kitchens, and mess halls meant to serve the crew of 2,500 men. not bad down here in the uh, air conditioned areas but once you get away from them it's really hot so I can only imagine how hot it would be in this labyrinth of a ship with all the engines running and stuff it's insanely cool I wish I would have reserved the entire day to come check it out because it's just so massive down one of the coolest museums I've been to so if you happen to find yourself in the Mobile area I highly recommend uh, taking an entire day to come and check this place out uh, the USS Alabama
Fort Gaines was built on Dauphin Island at the mouth of Mobile Bay to protect the city in 1821. It saw action during the Battle of Mobile Bay, which concluded with a Union victory and was the last of the Gulf Coast forts to be captured by Union forces. It's a great place to visit, and Dauphin Island is a nice place to spend the day, especially for beachgoers. So I just finished at, um, at Fort Gaines and I got there super early. I mean, not super early, but I got there early and I basically had the entire place to myself, which was super cool. There's a lot of kind of dimly lit, creepy little uh, rooms and, and walkways and stuff, which is, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, once you get towards like the middle of the day, more people start showing up. It's just nice to have the whole place to yourself. So I recommend showing up early. It's like $10 and I probably walked around for a few hours. So totally worth it. nestled amongst these massive, beautiful houses and old oak trees to spot Taco Bell. My time in Alabama completed, I continued on to Florida. I stayed the night in a secluded B&B outside Tallahassee, which gave me some time to relax and play some guitar. The next day I continued on towards the Atlantic coast and decided to stop by a historic battlefield. So the Battle of Alusty took place in this field behind me. Um, it took place in 1864 and it was a Confederate victory. Upon defeating the Union, they killed all of the black prisoners of war and uh, held the rest hostage and then dug shallow graves for the Union dead, which got dug up by hogs. So it's a, I mean, there's nobody out here. It's pretty interesting to see a battlefield because it's literally just a field. Uh, there's nothing out here and there's really nobody out here. I guess at the commemoration in 1912, there's like 4,000 people who came out. And uh, today there's three because I ran into a couple wandering around so but it's an interesting part of history for sure I thought this would be like a quick stop off at a, a battlefield I didn't really know what to expect but it's actually really nice kind of walk through the woods here and since I haven't really been doing a ton of hiking lately it's very much appreciated 